Hey everybody, welcome back into the shop. Uh, Steve with Swan Bottom Baits here. Um, you can see we got a bit of a new setup. So uh, there's our new banner. And uh, thank you to my boy over at Neptune Multimedia for designing that for us. And we had it printed through uh, through a person on Etsy. Uh, got a new mold in. When I got the email, I was like a kid in a candy store. Uh, I seen it, I just had to have it. So that's what we're gonna go shooting today. And a uh, little housekeeping real quick. If you're interested in looking at anything that we have to offer, uh, including these here, these will be available uh, when this uh, video drops. So uh, there's a link there for the tackle box. that will take you to our Etsy store. Uh, there's also a link there for Swamp Swag if you'd like any hats, mugs, koozies and what have you and if you need any graphics done like this here uh, look into that link there for Neptune Multimedia good guy you can see he does great work so uh, let's go ahead and get into shooting this new mold be back in a minute all right everybody welcome back um, we've got two-thirds of a cup of some swim bait blend here and here's a mold that we're working with that is a four inch pinpoint. They also have a five and a six that they released. So I've taken the, uh, the bolts out of it so we can put it in our clamp here. And the color I'm gonna be mixing up is my Disco Shad. So I start out with some green highlight I'm going to go with uh, kind of a, a level eighth. And we'll try and get that mixed in real quick, you know, with powders. It takes a bit to get them mixed in. So I am using the red label with this so it's a medium blend I added just a little bit of uh, softener to it just to bring it down a little bit so there is our green highlight and what I do is of course this is uh, you know generic but I go with See, that's a quarter. We're using two thirds of a cup. I usually do half of a teaspoon. So we're going to go with three quarters of a teaspoon of that. And then you can't see the label anymore. You can see there it's dead on. But this is the non high temp 025 holographic. And I'm going to go with just a hair under an eighth. with that so that is my total recipe for disco shad and I think I've done this on here before so I like the green highlight uh, for this I know uh, a lot of people use blue highlight So I think that's cooled down a little bit, cooled down quite a bit. So let's go ahead and get some more heat to it. And didn't grab the injector. So I did notice with the red label, you need to run it a little bit hotter then the non phthalate just seems to uh, for some reason be a little bit thicker all right you can see that I mean we're up there pretty good so let's go ahead and back you out so we can shoot it here you see my recipe book up there let me close it up I got some recipes I don't want to give out So 
so um, I was like a kid in the candy store with this one when I got the email that it had been released I immediately bought it and uh, I did the box opening on my twitch channel so if you guys are on twitch you can follow me over there also that's where I do a lot of my live or I do all my live I don't haven't done any live on YouTube so uh, but I've shot up this would be color number 10 for uh, pictures on there so when this video releases these will be available on the Etsy store so if you're interested you can hit the link for that we'll give this just a minute here to set up let's put that in keep that warm as you know I like to do uh, the setup leave it sit there do it live that way you can see how long it takes when the mold is cold it doesn't take quite as long this one here was just a little bit warm so but there is our disco shad I'm thinking that's gonna look outstanding in this bait uh, on the site it says Demiki rig um, hover rig I forgot there's one other one um, my personal opinion is uh, I think it will work great as a chatterbait so uh, when I was talking to the person at angling AI he said he used it as a chatterbait and it worked great so that was my idea also when I first seen it I don't do Mickey rig um, we have a lot of grass down here. I don't do Mickey rig. Um, I do have some hover rigs. So. But I haven't used them that much. It looks like the top off there is a little bit soft. But the rest of it is set up. So let's go ahead. And give you all your first look at a bait coming out of this. There is the belly. You can see it's got a ridge right here. So, we got the rings on the tail. And there you go. Great profile. All right, and you know what? I want to go ahead and laminate this show you all how it laminates I've done it one time already it laminates really well so we'll be back in just a second and show you a lamination all right so what I've got here this is one of my new saltwater colors that I've been doing which will be released here soon uh, I got a half cup of swim bait already heated up I'm going to put some of this Alpha Pigments Coastal Color Shift in there. And that's all we're putting in it. We're not going to put any uh, any pigment in. I'm hoping that uh, it'll give it a cool look. So we're going to go roughly about a sixteenth. And let's go ahead get that mixed in I'm hoping with that dark back you know when you look at it from the side you'll get a little bit but as you turn the bait that dark back will help this pop so you can see some of it there all right let's check our temps about 310 on that one. Oh, 330 on that one. So let's cool that one down just a little bit more. Oh, 
All right. I seen 304. So that should do it. You have 304 there. I seen 310. Let's go ahead and shoot it. So let me back y'all up here some. Oops, wrong direction. So you can get a full view. And on the mold, the top is to the right. Purge that out a little bit. Let's let, go ahead and let that set up real quick. It'll only take a minute. I did let the uh, the mold cool down between the last shots we did in these here. Set those back in the mic. Can I keep them a little bit warm? Yeah. Let's go ahead and top that off real quick. I think it'll be all right, but just to be on the safe side. So here's the two colors in the blending block. I said, I think that's gonna play really nice. We'll bring you all back down here. There, see how that bottom shows that green? See, it's, you know, kind of translucent. You get a bit of that green, but it's still translucent. You can see my finger behind it. But boom, when you get that back dark to it, back dark, dark back to it. That is really nice. I like that. All right, we'll go ahead and give you all uh, another view with the stuff. And uh, I appreciate you all coming in and joining me. Peace, everybody.